Hey everybody, it's Tesla Driver here. I hope you're doing very well. Today's gonna to be a little bit of a different video, and to be honest, most of the videos coming out are gonna be a little bit different. We're currently under lockdown here in the UK, so I can't drive the car unless it's essential. Now, I am gonna be doing a couple of essential trips, and I will use autopilot for those, and I will film them, but I can't go out and do those specific trips that I used to, and I definitely can't do city tours. Luckily, I've got a couple saved up, so they'll be coming out over the next couple of weeks, and uh, hopefully after that, it will all be sorted. Anyway, today I'm gonna to show you a couple of things. I was sent a clip this morning by loads of viewers actually of an American person using traffic aware cruise control and it was actually stopping at red lights and then going again. I'll show you the clip in a minute and we'll break it down and go through it and we'll kind of discuss it a little bit further. But the actual clip itself comes from someone called Outer Spec Motoring. He is here on YouTube, so go check him out. Um, and he has got the early access program. I have reached out to him for comments and to maybe give us a little bit more, bit more information on it all, but sadly he hasn't got back to me yet, but I'm pretty sure he probably has to keep quiet about it. And secondly, I'm gonna take you to the Tesla service center because my car had some things wrong with it and it's been fixed. And this happened on the day of lockdown. I was literally out as I was told about it and we were the last customers. So let's roll the intro. Before we get into the full self-drive clip of it stopping and starting at traffic lights and we deep dive into that, we're gonna talk about the service center and basically how my service appointment went. Now, when I went, they had texted me before and they did warn me that they were putting in different restrictions due to the coronavirus and COVID-19. And when I got there, they were completely in line. It was perfect. The chairs were pushed back far from each other. There were hand sanitizers at every door. No one was allowed to wait in. However, they did come out and talk to you. When I gave them the key, they slipped it into like a little bag and disinfected it and they disinfected it and gave it back to me And also when they gave the car back to me at the end They also had cleaned stuff and disinfected it to make sure they were safe But also make sure I was safe. So uh, Bristol Tesla kudos to you now What were the issues with the car? Well, there were two of them actually the main one was the buckled alloy that I'd had for a long time But since the trip down to France, it's been getting way way worse and I was told by an alloy repair uh, Shop that basically it buckled inside the alloy and outside outside the alloy now I wasn't sure if this was covered under warranty. However, they did do it under warranty and that was mainly because the guy in Lyon, when my car went to Lyon, said that they would have just done it there free of charge anyway. So he put notes on my work paper so that the Tesla service centers in the UK already know that they've said to me they were gonna do it for free. The only reason it didn't get done in Lyon, I was told, was because they didn't actually have a wheel to go on the new alloy. So they put the new alloy on, all fixed, looking great, and they put a brand new tire on, which is really good. The other issue with the car, also stemmed from my trip down to France, and this was the charger port. Now, the charger port would open from my phone, from the touchscreen in the car, and from the Tesla supercharger button when you actually, you know, look at it and press it. However, if you tapped it, it just wouldn't open, and that was the error message that was coming up on the screen. So what they did is they had a look at it, but basically they said it was a fault, it was a buggy charger port itself, and they replaced the whole unit, literally the whole unit, and now it works perfectly. So I'm not sure if that's a common issue, uh, but the gentleman there did say that it's sometimes an issue with when people actually try and push it down to close it happens but I've never actually done that because I, I know that it closes so I'm not sure where mine got like kind of buggered up a little bit but hey ho it did but now it's been fixed and it works perfectly. Overall I was there for two hours and I didn't even notice that on my phone it actually told me when it thought it was all going to be completed. I actually got there 45 minutes before that time and lucky enough that it was only 10 more minutes until the car was completed so I had the car half an hour early all complete and I didn't have to put a penny down because it was all covered under warranty. When I was there as well, there was another guy who I was talking to who watches the channel, so shout out to you. He was actually getting a camera replaced and he didn't have it under warranty. So if you wanted to know, the front left fender camera is £98 plus tax, which isn't too bad, we thought. So what did I do for those two hours? Well, I took my electric scooter and I actually scooted around Bristol to see what was it like during the COVID-19 lockdown. Don't forget, this was like the day, or maybe it was actually the day before that they said you can't go out at all for a anything but essential. Uh, so it was still open, but I believe now you can't go get your car serviced at Tesla. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure they've probably shut those things down by now. So here's the clips of me riding around on my scooter, and this is what a huge shopping mall that is usually packed with people looks like during the lockdown. So some shops are open, some aren't. It's really tempting just to get on this and blast through this place because it's so quiet. Um, but yeah, as you see, most places are shut. There's one food place open just there. That's where I'm gonna have to get my lunch from. It's so peaceful. I kind of 
love it. We've had our lunch. We are heading back now to Tesla, but we're an hour early. So I think I'm going to look at all the other cars that are available uh, around here and go to the other car dealerships. So let's see what we can find. Sadly, although the gates are open, it's only for customers dropping and picking up their cars, just like it was at Tesla. Again, if you're not picking up or dropping off a car, Aston aren't going to let you in, but look at this view today. My final stop was going to be BMW. This is actually where I bought my BMW i8 and my parents' BMW i3. But as you can see again, they're completely closed unless you are doing servicing or anything. With everything shut like that, I've uh, found myself a nice little spot here playing Animal Crossing on my Nintendo Switch and uh, just watching people funnel through the drive through because that's the only food source that's basically around here. Now let's go on to the full self-drive update in America that's showing someone with early access actually stopping and starting at traffic lights. So here's the clip in its entirety and I'm just gonna loop it a couple of times and you can have a zoom in and pause it and have a good look yourself. And I'm just gonna tell you what I've noticed from it. Now, interesting enough, he was on traffic aware cruise control until the final few seconds. So I'm not sure if this was allowed to work through autopilot or if it was only on traffic aware cruise control for now. But it was a little bit interesting that it wasn't on autopilot for the whole thing. Thing. What you did also notice is that it told him every single time it saw a light, no matter what the color was, that it was stopping for traffic control in however many feet. Underneath that, it also says use accelerator or gear stick to continue. So obviously what it's doing is it can see the traffic lights in a distance and when it sees them, it shows the traffic light, but it doesn't actually show the color just yet. Either it's not making it out or it's just not putting it on there for some reason. And what it's doing is it's saying, hey, I know there's a traffic light there. It starts slowing down by itself every single time you can see that because he's actually got his speed set to 35 miles an hour and every time that message comes up his speed goes down and the regen bar goes left which means it's slowing down and regenerative braking and what it does is he has to actually touch the accelerator or put push the gear stick to say hey yeah we can carry on going it's green now when he actually comes to a red one the car does notice that it is a red light and it does show it nice and clearly on the screen and it does in fact bring him to a stop but what I'm interested is in is when this full feature comes out and you can use it in autopilot and everything surely we're not going to have to tap the accelerator and the gear stick right like even when it's out before full self-drive is fully feature complete i really hope this feature doesn't come out and it doesn't nag us for every single light that it sees um, but when it sees the red light and it confirms and it knows it's a red light it says stopping for traffic control and it doesn't say that you can continue so it's literally making sure being super safe and just saying hey look i can see lights i'm pretty sure they're green and I'm pretty sure they're for us. But hey, double check, and you either press the accelerator or the gear stick for us to go. Now, when I know it's red, I will stop us no matter what, and it puts that nice thick red line across, and then that's it, job done. Now, even when that red light goes, you actually do have to accelerate and press the gear stick yourself to make it go again. We haven't seen any, any footage of it doing it completely by itself yet, so I assume that in this early access, he has to press the accelerator and gear stick every single time, even though the car knows what color the light is. Again, early access, this was kind of promised to us end of Q4 2019, and it's finally kind of coming out. It's gonna be really interesting to see this thing in action, especially here in the UK. Outspec Motoring also mentioned that stop signs were working. Uh, he didn't put anything else on it. I did reach out about it, and there's no videos or footage of it, so we're just gonna to have to take his word for it now, and I, I do believe him completely. Uh, but again, I'm not sure how a stop sign's gonna work with the accelerator pedal. That's gonna be a really tough one for them to figure out. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different, like I said, um, but it's kind of hard to make content when you're stuck in isolation. Please let me know if there's anything you want to see on the car on the driveway. I can obviously do anything with the car here on my driveway. I've got some accessories and stuff, and I've got a couple of fun video ideas planned. So yeah, please comment down below any cool, fun, and exciting stuff so that we can all have a bit of happiness, a bit of smile, and uh, just some fun Tesla time during this horrible COVID-19 outbreak. Until next time, my friends, don't drive. But if you do have to drive, drive safe.